Over the past six months, we've had the distinct pleasure of working with the Blind Industries and Services of Maryland, or BISM, an organization that aims to change people's attitudes about blindness and provide employment opportunities for individuals who are visually impaired. At BISM, we collaborated with Anthony Shields, a highly experienced BISM associate who is visually impaired, incredibly versatile, and always ready to rise to a challenge. One of the many products that BISM manufactures is plastic can liner bags. However, due to production errors, these bags often have to be least sealed following quality checks. But the current process to do so is entirely inaccessible, as it requires users to identify the extremely faint perforation between each bag. Our challenge was to transform this task so it could be performed by individuals who are blind and visually impaired. After extensive research and collaboration with Banner Engineering, we decided to use fiber optic technology to detect the perforation between each bag, along with an audible indicator to alert users of the correct location for resealing. Fiber optic sensing detects changes in light refraction, which we found to be perfectly suited to our project given the difference in translucency between the perforation and the rest of the bag. With the initial prototype, we started by measuring the leading at the perforation and the rest of the back to find the threshold. Ultimately, the threshold would function as a constant to determine the significance of readings during use, so that during each bag's neutral state, readings would be above the threshold, signifying that the perforation was not detected. And when the perforation was detected, the reading would fall below the threshold, setting off our indicator. From there, we worked on integrating our solution and increasing accessibility within the existing device. To accomplish this, we shifted everything apart from the bag well, three and a half inches to the right, to make room for the sensing nodes, which would ultimately detect the perforation. During our first round of testing, we found that our device worked well and addressed the problem, as Anthony was able to reseal the plastic bags with limited assistance, but it had a few kinks. For example, at times, the bag would fall off the sensing nodes, leading to some of the bags being skipped. Also, our nodes were positioned too far from the heat press, leading to a significant distance between perforation detection and the place where the bag was resealed. To address these problems, we added a dowel to align the bags as they were entering the sensor and moved the sensing nodes closer to the sealer so the bags would be sealed correctly. With these adjustments, Anthony achieved accuracy rates as high as 88%. It also only took about 13 minutes for Anthony to get through an entire roll of 25 plastic bags with little to no assistance, when before neither he nor anyone else who is visually impaired could have performed this job at all. Well, I think it's, it works actually pretty well. Uh, the concept is good. Um, anyone can use this for, with any blind person could use it. I mean, it uh, gives you good audio feedback. Um, and, you know, it, it was, it's pretty well designed. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, I do. Uh, because otherwise, I mean, I couldn't literally do this at all if it, if it weren't for a device like this. Um, so, you know, it makes it very accessible. I, I know it was a challenge for you guys to, to design a fixture that would see something so sensitive to be able to have a blind person be able to, to find the seal for the bag. Uh, I think you guys done an outstanding job coming up with the, the technology to be able to adapt it to a blind person. It opens up the opportunity for them to learn a new job, new skill level, uh, work with new, different technology, and be able to broaden their horizons and their mindset that the next time something comes up, that they could move into something else too. So to grow into that position or that job. We would like to thank BISM and especially our SME, Anthony, for the opportunity we had to work with them and truly make an impact, as well as Banner Engineering for their incredible generosity.